Since the first season of Peacemaker broke HBO Max streaming records, a second season was always going to happen, thanks to the winning combination of John Cena, James Gunn, and a computer-generated eagle named Eagly. The show's popularity grew week over week. According to HBO Max's head of original content, Sarah Aubrey, James Gunn's genius is once more evident in Peacemaker. He took the John Cena-created concept and turned it into a remarkable television series that shows the humanity hidden beneath these band of misfits surviving in a superhuman world while also being thrilling, amusing, and heartbreaking. We are pleased that the audience decided to give Peace a fucking shot because we are the first original DC show to have its series premiere on HBO Max. I am tremendously thrilled and humbled by the response to Peacemaker and the experience of playing this character, said John Cena in response to the popularity of the program. The second season will premiere in February 2022, according to Deadline, and James Gunn made a statement to honor the occasion. One of the real highlights of my life, professionally and otherwise, has been working on Peacemaker with John Cena, the amazing creative team around me, and our HBO Max partners. It has been a lovely experience to see something that we all adore being adored by the public. I'm excited to see where season 2 of Team Peacemaker takes the public. The eight-episode run of the Suicide Squad spin-off was jam-packed with content, featuring appearances from the Justice League. What, though, will season 2 include? Grab your weapons, ammunition, and tidy whities because we're about to provide you all the information you require. Peacemaker Season 2 Potential Release Date When is it being released? You're probably not the only one who felt queasy about Peacemaker's future after hearing about Batgirl's termination. It seems ridiculous to scrap a movie that is almost finished and already has a devoted following. So bizarre, it might occur once more, right? It appears that Peacemaker is secure. James Gunn, the director, at least, claims as much. The Suicide Squad director responded to a fan on Twitter who had inquired about the show's return by stating, Yes, guys, calm down. We need something brief and pleasant. The release date of the second installment is not yet set in stone. To be fair to Gunn, he does have a lot on his plate with Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3. But perhaps we'll hear something soon. You better believe that the adage if it ain't broke, don't send Vigilante to fix it. Because he'll probably end up shooting it applies in this case since season 1 of the HBO Max series debuted on January 13, 2021, and it resulted in the most commercially successful season in the network's history. However, there is something that can make matters more difficult. James Gunn claims that he is also working on another The Suicide Squad spin-off for HBO Max, which might be released concurrently. That shows a lot of growth. Hopefully, additional information regarding that will be available soon. Not entirely. However, we have put a lot of effort into it. In addition to Peacemaker Season 2, that would therefore be something that would occur. The series didn't actually air in the UK until two complete months after it debuted in the US, as UK viewers are well aware. However, Gunn expressed sympathy for his British supporters and said that if it had been up to him, it would have shown concurrently with America. He admitted to Radio Times that he was annoyed throughout the entire experience. Listen, the UK is home to many of my supporters. In the UK, DC has a sizable fan base. In addition, several of my Irish cousins live in Ireland and haven't been able to watch the show. I've been battling since the beginning. I've really, truly wanted Peacemaker to be there. I had hoped it would air at the same time as when it did in the United States. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, and nobody is really to blame. There are many strange legal situations around all of this. Since then, Gunn has made a commitment to give Peacemaker fans in the UK access to season 2 at the same time as it airs in the US. He responded, everywhere, every home. James, many thanks. Peacemaker season 2 cast, who will be in it? Unbelievably, the show's star and title character John Cena wasn't always committed to a second season. As James Gunn explained, John and I wanted to make sure this is something we really liked doing, and that we really wanted before we agreed to a second season. It's being disclosed now because we had to finalize everything, which is why. It wasn't a matter of like, yeah, we're picked up, I didn't commit to a second season right away. I simply wanted to be sure it was something I truly wanted to accomplish. It's fortunate that John and James were able to get involved in the follow-up because neither of them is absolutely necessary for it to function. The rest of the cast includes important performers Danielle Brooks, Steve Agee, and Jennifer Holland, as well as Freddie Stroma, who will almost probably return as Vigilante. There's a chance Robert Patrick will make a comeback as well. Peacemaker Season 2 Plot, what will it be about? James Gunn is undecided, so don't ask. I'm still experimenting with a variety of things. Who Peacemaker was and where he was going, what was his personal journey, was the most significant aspect of the first season for me. He spoke. The butterflies in the storyline are secondary to who he was as a character and what changes he underwent, as well as to the other characters and where they started and ended. Vigilante is the only character who didn't undergo any significant changes during the entire book. I am experimenting with various concepts around it and how that's going to play out, the author said. So I know where Peacemaker starts and where he ends. Podcaster Neil Vag shared an audio recording of Gunn discussing Peacemaker's emotional state before the second season in a tweet. 
In some respects, he ends up in a good place because Adebeo cleared him, sacrificing her own relationship with her mother in order to do so. Additionally, we witness the start of his friendship with Amelia Harcourt as well as his genuine friendship with a few of the other characters. But his father clearly stands out, whether or not he was alive, and he is very much a product of his father, whatever that infection may be. Gunn is aware of how popular Vigilante has become, but don't anticipate Adrian Chase to remain the same in Season 2 solely to appease viewers. Gunn claims that he was a straight line in Season 1, so we would anticipate that his arc would be a little more complicated in the sequel. Gunn enjoys delving further into people that he finds to be a little one-note. We also expect that the Suicide Squad movie will make at least one appearance. Season 1 introduced us to the Justice League, now it's time for Season 2 to bring back the Peacemaker and a few of his Task Force X friends. Bloodsport would seem to be the obvious choice for the spin-off series' main character and for a cameo appearance, but we'd be just as content with King Shark. Peacemaker Season 2 trailer, when can I see it? Until we're paid to find the initial footage and coercively recruited into this feature, you can enjoy the magnificent title sequence link is in the description. Till then, keep checking Novaflix for all the most recent updates, tidbits, and social media revelations. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.